Hello, welcome to a GibbsCAM demonstration for Midwest CAM Solutions. This demonstration is for MTM multitask machining, and this is going to be based around a, an Integrex machine. Now, in the the document in GibbsCAM, we can assign the MTM style machine, whatever type of machine it would be, we can assign that machine for it. Therefore, the knowledge of the machine, the pulse processor, all the tool groups, the coordinate systems are all predefined like a template and are ready to go. Of course, we set it for the material type that we're going to be cutting. We have the stock definitions that we define for the sub spindle and the main spindle and tool change positions if they're allowed. This machine has a upper head, so we have an upper turret and we have a lower turret. When we define a tool, we just point the tool like it looks like as it's cutting the part on the spindle. It's cutting on an X-positive direction, inserts up or down, controls the spindle direction, and tool ID is needed for an integrex because it's a tool changer. It can have many, many tools. We can see standard tool holders, or we could have a custom that could be from a, a solid model that could be defined it. So the solid model could be the, the actual characteristic of that tool, or it could be a tool holder that would be in the tool library that we could use for the position and the configuration of any, any tool holder. And of course, milling tools or turning tools. You can convert back and forth and create these tools. And you can resave these tools and reuse them over and over again too. With center drills, all the tools are in there. Of course, all the different styles of cutters are, are in the, the library of tools. Now, to, to uh, cut parts, well, we do have all the coordinate systems. We have spindle one and we have spindle two turning planes. Uh, they're all predefined and you can create any complex uh, turning plane for any um, uh, coordinate system. This is a first operation here on the list is working on the spindle two. We're just doing a OD approach and we're actually coming in and just facing this part. Simple lathe with the profiler, we just tell it where to start where to end, do it, and it does our operation. And um, in my operation list here, we have what we call two flows, where the little tile says operation one, position one, uh, turret one, position one, cutting spindle two. If I go to the sync manager, it takes these operations that we added to our operation list and puts them in two columns, because this is our actual flow one and flow two. In operation mode, you can work right in this dialog and retrieve operations. Now, when we put them in the list, if there's one for you know tool group uh, one, tool group two, it's going to put them in the proper columns, and we can add syncs with the sync manager and add synchronizations uh, to two operations that you'd want to sync to have something to wait for something. Now, in in the um, two columns here, these are utilities. Now utilities are things that don't cut. And utilities are to allow us to control, you know, coming in and loading a spindle, um, possibly a sub spindle in to grip the part, synchronize the Z axis, C axis, and do a sub spindle return with the part if it's a chuck part. Because we can do a shift, cut it off, and return with it as well and maybe load the spindle when we're done transferring the part when the part's complete. Now CPR, you can turn CPR on and rewind and we can watch the cutting. Now we're seeing you know both the tools cut, the tool changer goes up and grabs the next tool, comes down and cuts. We're using C-axis drilling here. Um, and when we get over here, this op, this op right here, if I go to C flow 1, op 7 is this op. Flow 2 op 15 is this tool op here. And what this tool is doing is waiting to this get done before it takes off. We have a move tool group utility. It's waiting and you can park it somewhere or have it come up close to where it needs to cut before it does this little b-axis milling. Comes in, grabs a part, and then loads the spindle back. Now the simulation that we're watching, we can actually load it into the machine 
and actually see the whole machine tool. So now we have the whole Intergrex machine in display. And if we start letting it play, this machine has been set up so it hides the shrouds so you don't have to see that um, unless we want to turn it back on. But now it's doing the rendering and we're showing the machine configuration, the tool holders that were defined, uh, the special turning tools that we're using, and we can watch the machining and, and really see what's going to happen at the machine, not just seeing the tools and the cutting of the part. The uh, viewport manager allows us to have predefined viewports. I'll just go grab this predefined viewport here where we can assign and look at all these different view windows, window panes, and we can see the sub spindle and the main spindle and then the whole machine in this layout. So this allows us to see exactly what's going on independently for the main spindle and the sub spindle and then viewing it all at this in the same location. The MTM is no different than programming basically a regular lathe except now we have multi turrets, we have a sync control manager and the simulation of watching both these spindles. Uh, I think this concludes just a basic little um, illustration demonstration of NTM. Thank you very much and hope you enjoyed the little presentation.